Let's make sure your personal information is correct. Select Settings from the top toolbar or select Personal Information from the Account Settings drop-down. Then you'll want to make sure all your personal information is complete as possible, especially noting your correct email address. And then don't forget to click Save. Next, you'll want to upload your own photo so other members can identify you easier. This photo will show within the Member Information Center in several places, and it also may show on your organization's public website if you belong to any groups or committees or boards that they choose to display publicly. Then select Groups and Interests. If your organization has mailing lists or committees or other interests that you can sign up for, they will be listed right here. Then click Social Networks and paste in the link to your social network account if you'd like your organization to keep this on file and if you'd like the public or members to have this contact information too then make sure you select social networks in the public display preferences section note that you may select which items show within the member information center for other members and a different set of items that may show for visitors to your organization's website and finally if remembering the login and password for your social media account would be easier than the remembering the login for your member account, then go ahead and link them together. Just click the social media icon for the account you'd like to use and then follow the prompts on the screen. Then the next time you log into the member center, just click the social media icon and enter your familiar social media login and password and you'll be brought into the member center after that.